Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. Today we are doing another 10 levels in the wild, wild west. Starting with level 11, we're just gonna hop right into it and get into uh, the action today. Uh, last episode we had a lot of fun. We were able to get some new plants like the pea pod and we are able to try out some new mechanics like the minecart. Now in day 11 we have the objective of spend no more than 500 sun, which sounds really difficult. Um. How do I want to do this? Okay, um. I'm thinking about it, 500 sun, that would be 450, 250, 200, and eight potato mines. Or, well also let's use that, just for some good measure. Hmm. That might be my best bet. I really think it is. Like maybe this just in case. And maybe this just in case. I don't think I'm gonna end up using that. Let's try something like that. This one's a proper puzzle, what do you know? Like maybe I could do two sunflowers to pick up the speed a little bit. I don't know how good of an idea that would be. For right now, we'll just do one sunflower. We might have to do multiple attempts at this one because this one's certainly interesting. Okay, so there is our first zombie. For that one, we are going to just have to do a potato mine. And we already can afford this, actually. So maybe I could have gotten away with not doing that. Certainly interesting. Uh, there we go. So luckily, I have yet to have to use the actual potato mine. I'm gonna put a walnut there, as you do. And I still have the iceberg lettuce, so I wanted to like slow some of these guys down. Luckily, I don't think I'm gonna have to just yet. There we go, let me get my first piece of plant food there. And I'll do that just in case we need it. And we should be doing pretty good here. There we go. It's also just about keeping good pace, trying to figure out exactly when his head's gonna pop off so that we can move to the next one. I'm definitely gonna freeze this guy so we can layer on some more damage, but even now we have 175 sun we could spend, and I'm thinking that'd be great for the lightning read, but then we'd only have 50 left just in case things go bad. But I think it would just be like a good idea, just put him in the center lane, stack on some damage that way, and see how it goes. Now we still have to be quick about this, but we also gotta be careful. There we go, but because of the lightning read being so useful with its, uh plant power up move, you know, being able to, oh, and look at that, it's chaining between that zombie and the, and the uh, cone head, that's really good. But just being able to um, have that plant power up ability of like going crazy with the, with the thundercloud, like that's a really big thing to me. So I wanna try to keep that going on for as long as possible. Look at that chain effect there. Huge wave of zombies are approaching, I've noticed. The only actual risk at the moment is the zombies eating that lightning reed. Okay, you need to get out of here. You need to get worked on. So let's go ahead and just do this because we're actually almost done. So yeah, let's get that done. And then like do another one. And maybe just go crazy on you. And there we go, I think we did it. Okay, not too bad actually. And ooh, look at this. We get ourselves another upgrade for digging up plants. So currently if we dig up a plant, we get 25% of its original sun cost. Is that being changed here? We get Shovel Perk, get an additional 25% of sun cost back when shoveling up plants. So I guess now if we were to plant a plant that was 200 sun, we decide we don't want it anymore, we dig it back up, we should get 100 sun back. That's pretty cool. Plant the bloomerang to begin. Okay, so this one's just something with a bloomerang. I'm gonna put them in the center lane so we can move them all over the place. Oh, okay, I see. There's only certain places they can pop up for now. So if there's only one, we might as well utilize that one and see how this goes. No uh, lawnmowers here to save us, so if things get nasty, might be a bit of a problem. Oh, now we get a lightning reed. Uh, we should be able to put him here, and he should be able to reach both of them, no problem. He actually goes for the one in the center, yeah. <laughs> it bounces between the both of them, that's pretty cool. There we go. Now let's work on this guy a little bit. So I guess each wave is gonna get a little bit crazier, but we do get another plant to utilize, so it will get a little balance with everything. So two zombies up top, gonna be another bloomerang. I'm thinking bloomerangs in the back and lightning reeds in the front might be a good idea. Uh, we'll try it out. I, I feel like that could work, yeah. For right now, we're just gonna have these guys destroy the brown coats. Shouldn't be a problem. 
But yeah, this has been pretty fun so far, just like Wild West in general, PvZ2 in general. I've been having a lot of fun recently. Okay, another Lightning Reed. Now I need to put him in the front. I mean, he's gonna show up on that middle lane, so it won't be too bad of a deal. Yeah, that should work. I mean, if we need to, that's why the Bloomerang is here to sort of pick up the pace a little bit. Yep, that gets that guy. With the two Lightning Reeds going at him, there ain't a big deal going on there. That's fine. So we do get another Bloomerang. We're gonna put him in the back. And now we have our minecart set up. So if we get any other plants, we'll just probably put them um, around in front of the minecarts. Not worry about too much more than that. I might go ahead and do that. Pay attention a little bit more here, Zebra. Don't make silly mistakes. There we go, we got our first bit of plant food for this level. I mean, technically we're halfway through already, according to this, so hopefully things continue to go well. Okay, we got another lightning read. So I'm just gonna plop him right in the center. Here, yeah, that's fine. They have some really long reach, so it's not that big of a deal. I do wanna slow this down a little bit, though. I mean, I think we're making a pretty good choice so far, actually. I just wanna set the bloom right there in front of the cone head instead. We can manage. There we go, that Conehead's getting beat up so I can work on that guy a little bit. And then we can switch all of our attention to the Conehead, and that seems to be working just fine. Alrighty, I like it. So now we get another Bloomerang, and I'm sort of like, I don't know what I wanna do with this guy. Like, maybe I could've actually put these Lightning Reeds in front instead of on my carts, and that would've been fine, because I, I find that I'm just keeping them in the center anyways. We'll just get it here, so we have extra middle defense, so we don't have to worry as much about some other stuff. Um, maybe I should have paid attention to the bucket head there. That could have been a good place to put him. Okay, that guy should be able to handle two brown coats. We need as much as we can over this way, because this guy's actually a problem. Uh, we'll get that coin. Ooh, can we get him? Can we not? I don't know, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close. Ooh, okay. Come on, come on. I know you can do it. Come on. Oh, I don't know if he can, we might use plant food. Oh, he got him, look at that, I'm so proud. That was as close as it gets. Okay, so the bucket head is the bottom to the left. Uh, for that, I mean, we'll do this. We'll go like this. Bottom to the left, I don't know why I'm saying left. It's just second to the bottom. I mean, I guess it would be, in the zombie's perspective, the second to the left lane. That's probably what I'm thinking of, right? Is not, I'm just silly. So we do have to be careful now, because if not, they will eat through that lightning reed. And that'd be a bit more of a problem. I mean, we're throwing tons of damage at him, but it might not be enough. Please don't eat my lightning right now. What a jerk. Oh, well, we tried our best. There we go. <laughs> and slightly after that, he gets taken out. What a shame. No buckethead this time from what I saw there. Um, I gotta put the, the bloomerang somewhere. Let's put him here. Yeah, it's all just brown coats and stuff, so we should be fine. I'm gonna do that a little bit. Grab that coin. And we're good to just set something up like that. And it should get the majority of them. Yep, it does, no problem. That was an easy round, but I guess it's to prepare us for the final wave coming up here. Um, I'm gonna do another lightning read. I'm gonna put them up this way because I know there's at least one bucket head up here. There might be yeah, another one down that way. So we're sort of in a bit of trouble right now. But I think we can do this. If we just do the, the uh, storm cloud, maybe it would have been a better idea to do that um, once. Oh, there we go, we got him. Yeah, once there were less lower power zombies, but no, that did it just fine, and look at that, we get one of my favorite plants, the Melon Pult. Very cool, Melon Pult does heavy damage to groups of zombies. I love this guy a ton, and we do have some quest log rewards. It looks like unlock Melon Pult, fling heavy damage melons down the thingamajig, the lanes, whatever it said. We get 250 coins, we get two Melon Pult uh, experience, pretty good. And we get two lightning rate experience, making four in total. And that's about it for that. Okay, is there anything else going on here? Looks like we do have, you know, other world stuff like unlock tall nut, events going on that I'm not too interested in. All right, let's back it out of here. And we'll also take a look at, the, oh yeah, I haven't played in like a day or so, so there should be more Zen Garden stuff. That will be cool to see. Ooh, so we get coins from the Marigold. That's always nice. And we can plant something else there which is gonna be a spring bean, look at that. I like it. Okay, so that guy has three hours and 29 minutes. Let's go ahead and give him that, very cool. And we're good to keep moving forward. I'm not sure uh, what else we should take a look at here. I mean, obviously level 13, what am I talking about? <laughs> we got two levels down, we got eight more to go. Let's start with level 13. It doesn't look like there's any specific reward for this one. 
but it will be pretty cool no matter what. Zebra's trip to the Wild West. Whoa, that imp is on a bull. Wow, okay. So nothing specific here. I'm gonna go all in with something like that. Let's take a look at the mine carts. Yeah, we're doing double melon pulp for sure. That's gonna be so much fun. Um, and then lightning reads the support. Maybe along with that, we could do something like that. And I think we're good to go, let's rock. Maybe I should have actually done spike rock instead of spike weed. We'll find out in a moment. For right now, I just gotta speed things up and grab the first one that pops up right there and wait for the twin sunflower to be ready. There we go, okay. So as soon as the twin sunflower makes some more, we should be good. There is a, uh, there, there, that was good. The potato mine's gonna be ready for that zombie. I hope. Uh, let's do that just in case. Oh, okay, he, he should have been fine. Maybe he would have been. I'm not really entirely sure. We have enough sun for another twin sunflower. Whenever it pops up. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna keep rolling. Now, it might be that I wanna do more than one uh, set of twin sunflowers here, or at the least for right now, what I could do um, is make it like every other lane, so we'll do the top, middle, and bottom, and then put light and reeds in between. That might work out pretty well, because he should be able to work on that guy, no problem. Or both of those guys, I can only hope. And then I think we'll do something like that. And then, of course, this next one will be an entire set. And that should be good. But we already are coming up, yep, close enough to afford a melon pulp. We can just toss one of those, bring this up here. Can we please get that guy? You better bet we can. Okay, so more walnuts like that. Got quite the strategy going on here. We got our second melon pulled already. I'm liking this, this is fun. Um, hmm. There we go. So that guy was a bit of a scare, but we made him work. Now we do have to be careful, I didn't even realize the whole situation. Oh no, oh no. Okay, melon pull time, let's get at it. These guys are everywhere. Ooh, not bad, not bad. It's a mechanical bull, okay. I didn't realize that was gonna be the case. Wowee, that actually went crazier than I was expecting. <laughs> we made it work though. Let's get this guy over there. Let's um at least get that. And let's keep this going a little bit more. So I just didn't do anything to prepare for the jumper zombies. I totally forgot about those dudes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's just make sure that our, I don't know, will he squish plants? He might, he launches the imp. Yeah, let's get this guy over here. We need to make sure they're not on the very bottom or very top lanes that they don't have to be. Oh no, eating through my twin sunflowers. Don't you dare eat through my melon pulp. I will, I don't know, report you to the authorities. We we might as well be the authorities right now. It's the Wild West. They aren't gonna listen to nobody. Okay, come on, we just gotta keep surviving until, okay, you, you gotta calm down with this poor attitude you got. What is happening, why aren't you freezing? I don't know why he wasn't freezing. Okay, huge wave of zombies are coming in and I wanna make sure that they feel our wrath. We have a lot of sun right now and I just haven't really had the chance to place it down. Okay, you know what, let's go for this. I love the melon pole and it's super cool finisher. There he goes, okay. Get two more of these, cause why not? Just have a ball. There we go. And do one more. I love the melon pole, he's super duper cool. All righty, it looks like we won. It was a little bit of a, of a scare here and there. That voice seemed like we could have lost. We'll get some coins for it, which is always good to see. Almost at 46,000. And yeah, we are good to keep moving. All right, next level, looks like we got the chicken zombie and the piano zombie. Definitely with the lightning read. I don't see a problem with doing another melon pulp, but it will be a little bit difficult at first, maybe? You'll we'll have to wait and see. No jumper zombies this time, luckily. Luckily, luckily, luckily. Okay, so honestly, I feel like I wanna do more Snapdragon as well. That spread damage might be good against the chickens, but we're still gonna do that, of course. Um, we'll have to see how much of a hard time we run into here, but I feel like a combo like that would be great. And then we'll do, oh wait, potato mine, potato mine for sure. We can't do twins without the potato mine. It'd just be too much of a risk. So let's immediately speed this up. Try to get that first sun. And then just try to be ready for when the twin sun flower pops up. Just so we can place it right away. 
And I can give you a potato mine, sir. Potato mine for you. So as soon as we can, let's get one more sun. Come on, twin sunflowers. Cough them up. No, oh, that's not doing nothing. There we go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> Come on now, I need one more sun. I wanna be able to, there we go. All right, we got a brown coat up that way. Now we can start speeding things up a little bit, I think. Okie doke. And one more would be great before things really start rolling here. So let's get that going. Now we got some stuff happening. And we should be able to handle it just fine, but it's always good to try to be as prepared as possible. So I'm thinking we will do melon pulp on this back one for now, of course. And then keep working on the lightning reeds, wherever we can really place them. And then after that, maybe we'll do, like we'll do a rose worth of lightning reeds or something like that. And then maybe a rose worth of snapdragons. I definitely need this melon pulp to work on this guy. But then, boom, put that there. Okay, I don't know why they're not really making much sun at the moment, that's sort of concerning. Okay, there we go. Let's put this guy in the center lane so we can have as much splash damage, because the big thing about the melon pulse is that they can damage any, like, they obviously only attack zombies that are right in front of them, but they end up damaging the zombies that are in the lanes adjacent to that main zombie. So like, that's a pretty good spread of everything. I need to use something against this guy. I don't know what that's gonna be. We're sort of in a bit of a pickle. No, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, so now we can get a good spread of melon pulse and definitely make something work a little bit better. Definitely need more sun if we can manage to get it. There's some more plant food. Um, so a third melon pulp now. Let's get him up here because we do have the piano and everything. But this spread damage is definitely good against the, uh, the chickens. I don't think it's really all that much of a problem against the pianos, of course, so we wanna just be sure we use it. So this is where I wanna start doing Snapdragons. Because the Snapdragons will also have that similarly good spread. Okay, so you know what? We need to do this anyways. Might as well. Just get rid of a couple of guys. I like the Snapdragon a lot, so this is fun. Okay, you know what? Speaking of Snapdragon, help us out, buddy! Ba-boom! Very cool. And the Snapdragon restores fairly quick quickly. I'm just gonna do that so we can get some more sun to set up more Snapdragons. And rinse and repeat. I haven't even sped this up at all. It's just crazy this round. I haven't even used any spike weeds, but at the same time, I don't know, I feel like I'm just a little too late. I mean, I don't know if they actually get rid of, okay, we need to do that this time. And then we need to do another one. And just layer on that damage. There we go, I think that's gonna be everything, right? Looks like it, okay, so. Very cool, get ourselves a little cowboy pinata. Cowboy zombie pinata. And I can't wait to see what's in this one. Probably more experience, I can only imagine. I did wanna say a little bit of the criticism with the experience. When I first heard that level up plants were coming to PvZ2, I was hoping it was gonna be more like, oh, the more you play with one plant, the more experience it gets and the more levels it gets, instead of you just randomly getting experience. Oh, well, that was cool, we still get a level up for split pea. But I think it would've been really fun if just the more you play your favorite plants, the, like, you know, sort of like in Garden Warfare, the more you play, especially Garden Warfare 2, the more you play one specific variant, you get experience for it, it levels up. I feel like that would've been a more satisfying way to do it. Okay, so we don't wanna lose more than two plants in level 14 here. Let's do what we can. So, yeah, if I don't wanna lose any plants, does potato mines count? I can only imagine they do. So before we get started with that, let's go ahead and level up the split pea. <laughs> because, you know, I want to. Uh, 50 coins, actually not that expensive at all, but it does increase some stuff, increases recharge, toughness, and damage. Okay, pretty cool to see. Let's get back in there. And I just sort of want to go over if we can't lose any more than two plants. I mean, that's not a lot of plants. But at the same time, not too many crazy zombies. I don't know if the like the iceberg lettuce counts. We might just have to get it in there and find out. I'm pretty sure it will though. I wouldn't even mind doing something like coconut cannon, but like if we want to go that high cost route, that's where things can get risky. And I don't think it's worth it at first. So I think what we should do is just something like sunflower repeater. And then like maybe just be able to make it work with two. I feel like I just gotta do potato mines instead of iceberg lettuce then. Okay. 
But then maybe like Peapod? I don't know if Peapod's gonna be worth my while, actually. I mean, at first it might be. Makes it a little bit more accessible and stuff. Definitely something like the Spike Rock could help. Maybe even Spike Weed and Spike Rock. I don't know if they get damaged, though. I mean, the Spike Rock will get damaged, and so will the Spike Weed. The Spike Weed goes away right away for the piano or something. But the Spike Rock will last a couple of hits. So, so maybe something like that. I don't think it would be a bad idea to do Boomerang against. Like, these zombies usually group up a lot with the piano. So maybe something like that would work pretty well. And then maybe just for good measure, we will do... A Wana. I don't know if I'm going to use it. Uh, using a potato mine counts as losing a plant for this level. Are you sure you want to continue? Repick. Okay. Good to know. What about Iceberg Lettuce? Yep, okay, I thought so. We'll just get this in there. Or maybe we'll do Cabbage. Cabbage wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Okay, so first off, let's get some sunflowers out here. And we're just gonna get going with that as soon as we possibly can. Get another one out here. Very nice. And we'll have to see how soon a zombie pops up. But for right now, we're rolling through this pretty well, and we got our first zombie. So if I could just get one more sun, I will get the pea pot and I'll put it there. And then one more sun, get another sunflower. That should be good. This is definitely a tough one. And it could certainly backfire on us depending on how well we play. Okay, get that up there. I definitely need another pea pot on top of this. So we can start hitting them twice over. And that seems to be working pretty well. Now the problem comes, what am I doing about this guy? I'm thinking for right now we'll do cabbage pole. I'm gonna move that guy up there. And hope I just don't lose any plants. But you can see this is sort of moving through really, really quick. I can only hope that, yeah, more plant food starts popping up. Okay, we already got the piano. That's a big deal that that happened so soon. But we do have some plant food now to work with. I can get my second pea pod here. Hmm. I hear the, okay, there's the piano. I was gonna say, I hear the piano. Do not see a piano. Okay. Now I'm getting some good sun here. Let's do this. Okay, pea pods, keep working with me here, buddies. I'm thinking about it, I have plant food. I think we gotta, I don't know if that was a bad idea or not. I feel like it might have been, but there were so many zombies there. At the end of the day, I feel like it was sort of kind of worth it. I definitely think we need to start working towards some lightning reeds as well, but I don't want to put these guys too far out as a thing, because then, you know, we have an increased risk of everything, really. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's do our fourth here. There we go, that, sh that shouldn't be too bad. Definitely think the cabbage pole is definitely sort of our best bet with some of this out. Okay, we got more plant food. This is apparently the final wave, so we should be able to make this work. Maybe I could go ahead and do this and see how it goes, because that piano's not moving nowhere. And he's taking the damage, nice, okay. Move him up here, see you zombies. Was that really it? Look, that wasn't too bad. That was gonna be much tougher. And ooh, look at this. It's a little walnut nurse thing. I think I know what this is. If so, I'm super happy to see it. Let's find out together. This is, whenever it loads, well, we're still getting travel log updates. Is there a way to disable that? I don't wanna see the travel log updates. I, I gotta see if I can't change it. Anyways, we got the one up first aid. Fully repair damaged defensive plants by planting on top of them. That's cool. We actually do get that ability in PVZ1 as well. It's super cool to see it here in PVZ2. All right, so let's move on over to level 16. All right, we're making our way through this actually pretty nicely, so that's good to see. And yeah, I don't know what's gonna go on in this one. Oh, we got Penny. These levels can be tough nuts to crack. Oh, are we doing one up polling? And I wanna see the delicious creamy center. The point is not to crack them. <laughs> oh, survive and protect the endangered plants? Nah, I don't think so. Are they gonna be one us out? Oh, okay. Honestly, I'll just have him sort of dodge zombies then. Weird, okay. There is some split peas that we'll have to do here, I think then. Um, let's do something like that. Hmm. Going pretty defensive here. I don't know if it's entirely necessary. 
we could end up just doing something more simple to our strategy like that. I don't know if we'll need this much. We'll see how it goes. We'll have like an overwhelming amount of everything if it works out, so. Yeah, let's get things speeding along. I really am just gonna try to make sure that Walnut doesn't get touched by anybody, because he just gets moved along with it, which is actually pretty cool. And we got our first, okay, we got our first zombie real quick, didn't we? I mean, I guess now that might've been average time. I did speed it up after all. Okay, come on. Got it, not bad. And grabbing that one. So our potato mine should definitely be able to get rid of this first zombie. And we already got our third twin sunflower up. And I almost have enough for our fourth one. Hold on, potato mine there. Definitely the potato mines are rocking. They're doing good. And we already have enough for our, our final one. So I can actually start working towards split peas. I definitely want to do that before I do uh, lightning reads, because I just don't know when the jumping zombies might come and sneak up on us. So I'm just trying to get that as ready as possible. I don't think we'll need more than one row of twin sunflowers. Um, I'm thinking, eh, I don't know if it would work. Let's do this, actually. Let's have one get rid of the other in that way. I think that would work. Let's move that up there. First time having to move him. So does that get rid of the other zombie? It at least freezes him for an amount of time. So we should be good with that. And then I can start working on the lightning reed. Okay. Let me go ahead and do this. Will that freeze him? That did indeed freeze him. Split P and then this guy there. Maybe I should have gotten my own walnuts. I don't know why I didn't really. Uh, that guy's gonna actually, he didn't have anything under his poncho, so he's good. We're fine. Thought that could have been a bigger issue than it ended up being. I like how the walnut just looks nervous. He's like, I'm in danger here, help me out. Just give me like 15 sun, something like that. Not 15, like 12 and a half sun. I don't know how that works because it's 50% of 25, I don't know, it's weird. Okay, so we got our first jumper here, but we do have the split pea, so it should be taken care of, no problem, even if he does jump, which he will. Let's see, split pea, do your thing. Yeah, it gets rid of him real quick, that's amazing. So we don't even have the, uh, you know, watermelon or anything, the melon pulp, so we should just be going pretty well. Got rid of that guy, and we're working on our second row of everything. I'm gonna move this one down here because it just seems like a nice spa safe space for him for the moment. Okay, things are rolling in our direction. Okay, I'm gonna move you over here now. I sort of wanna do this. I haven't seen this in a while. I forget what it does. Oh yeah, it just sort of spreads around. I forgot about that. I don't know why, I thought it was gonna be more interesting. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's just not the most riveting move in the world. All right, well there's tons of farting zombies now. I think he took a little bit of damage there. That's concerning. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. So many zombies though, they are pouring in left and right. Uh, that could be a bit of an issue. But at the same time, our plants are handling it pretty well. Okay, there we go, we get another plant food. I sorta of kinda needed that, so I'm glad to have it. We have plenty of sun, luckily. The last of these guys are getting zapped up now. So I might just wanna yeah, get rid of him. Okay, they got rid of like one of the lightning rings, but it's fine if they do occasionally, like even at this point. We can just go ahead and do this, and we should be pretty fine. There we go, we're destroying it. You know what, I can do this as well, just to be extra safe, even though I don't think I need to be. We got it, okay, cool. That was easy, that was, that was a piece of cake. Alrighty, we get some coins for it, nothing too crazy, but we make our way through day 16, only three more or four more days left to go. All right, what's going on in day 17? Don't let the zombies trample the flowers. I'll do everything I can. Looks like we got two mine carts, so we could do the walnut strategy again. I'm tempted for sure. How close is it? That's gonna be tough then if we wanna do the twin sunflower strategy because it makes the potato mine harder to work with. So I think we'll just do normal sunflower. We'll still do potato mines, I think. Actually, maybe iceberg lettuce would be smarter. I think we wanna get pea pod on that, on that mine cart. Something like that wouldn't be too bad. I'm taking a look at the zombies that we're going against. Like, ooh, I still don't really know much. I feel like I wanna go visit the Almanac real fast. I wanna, I wanna find out more about that imp. So where is he at? There's so many zombies in this game, it's crazy. Uh, 
Moving all the way over right here. This is the zombie bull. Can launch his zombie rider past your defenses. Launches a low flying imp rider over the plants. Okay, so Taunts would block this. Oh, there's a full description. I love it. Do the, do the plants have that? Yeah, they do. Okay. Um, cool. I like it. <laughs> I definitely will read through one of the, all those one day. That'll be fun. But for not for an, right now. Uh, instead, let's get back to this. This might actually be one of the ones where we want to use the plant, plant booster. Trying to think which plants do we have the boost and which ones would we actually want to boost? Because this one looks like it could be tough. I might be overestimating it, but we got a lot of these. So like, why not? Just take the opportunity. Maybe I could do potato mine. Oh, you know what? I'm definitely gonna do walnut. And maybe iceberg lettuce. That'd be a pretty powerful one to have. So we'll see how crazy that ends up being. We may not need that much. That might be overdoing it. But we, we, we'll, we'll get more slots in the future, so it'll be fine. Okay, so back to our trip to the Wild West. I think I'm mostly fine with this. If I wanna add anything, I guess it just might be potato mines, or maybe Snapdragon. Let's do the Snapdragon, we'll see how that goes, and hopefully we all have a good time. Let's get going. So we got that boosted Iceberg Lettuce. We have that boosted, uh, what's it called? Uh, Walnut. <laughs> So we should be good, I can only hope. And we're just gonna build up some sunflowers as fast as I can until I can get a pea pod. Which should just be in a little bit, just like this. And let's see if this will get rid of him. It might not, and then I'll throw down the iceberg less. But if I could make it so I'm freezing two of them at once, that'd be fantastic. So that's what I'm hoping for. So it looks like it will actually get rid of him. Uh, you got it, okay. I'm gonna work on two rows of sunflowers for now and also get our second pea pot up here. So you know what? I gotta pay attention a lot to those flowers. It's not an easy thing to do, but definitely doable. Got it, and I think we'll do that. Definitely seems to be worth my while. Now this is point in time where we wanna just freeze some stuff, I think. And then I'm gonna work that over that way. There we go, now we're rolling. Get that triple shot going on. And that guy has a plant food power, which will be helpful. Not entirely crucial at the moment, of course. I'm just trying to protect everybody. Okay. Now I wanna work that guy up there. And we should be able to hit you with a quadruple shot, no problem. Once we get it up to five, then we'll be really rolling. I definitely wanna start getting the mullen pulls out as soon as I can. I think that, you know, obviously it's a bit silly to put him in the lane where this guy wasn't, but I feel like, you know, it definitely will be useful. Okay, let's go ahead and get our final pea pod there. And, I mean, I do want to, this is where it gets tough. I'm thinking that we will start working backwards at least a little bit and getting those guys set up. I'm gonna get that there. Let's make sure we're not wasting our Time and abilities. Okay, so we already got our first one of these, and that's sort of a big problem, though. But we froze him, so maybe I can go over this way and really layer it on. I was hoping I'd have a bit more time before he showed up. Um, because I could do something like that. I could get another lightning read over this way. I definitely need more suns. So this is where I'm thinking, like, oh, maybe it would have been a better idea to get twin sunflower. Um, in the meantime, we can do that. I could get another one of you down. And that's great, actually. And if we really need it, we do have the power up. Let's get Snapdragon over that way. Okay, so things are starting to roll in our direction. Okay, yeah, let's make sure. Just really gonna focus in on the, the pea pod because the pea pod's gonna have that versatility being able to get wherever it needs to get. I don't know who's more powerful, these guys with the lids or these guys with the buckets. But I should probably focus on the guy who doesn't have a watermelon or a melon pole attacking him, you know? Might be our best bet. So we do have a full set of plant power up now. That's always good to see. The Snapdragons haven't even started really doing their thing, so that's gonna be good. Once we get that going as much as possible. Okay, so we seem to be making some good decisions now. Like, it's sort of going our way. And we have, like I said, full set of plant power-ups. We got another one right there. 
So I'm thinking we could, I feel like this is gonna be a good idea is to get this so that can sort of do its thing while we're beating this guy up. There it goes, okay, so in just a moment, we will get, wait, didn't he have one? There it is, it just took a second. Yeah, we just gotta make sure they don't walk over those flowers, which we're doing a pretty good job. This this uh, bull's the last thing, I think. And it was indeed, okay, that wasn't too bad. Once again, I, I maybe I overdid it with the, at least with the, the Iron Maiden, the Walnut Superpower. We didn't need that one as much, but I definitely think that the Iceberg uh, Lettuce definitely helps. So yeah, very cool. We'll get to see what's inside of this pinata and get things going from there. So tap to open it up. As you can see, we get ourselves a 100 coins. Nothing too much there. We get three more level up points for the split peel. Hopefully we can get them level three soon. Um, and we also get three level up points for the chili bean, which means he's gonna be level two soon. Very cool. Um, beyond that, what else do we got going on? I don't think much. So we'll, we'll go to the, the map so I can level up the chili bean and we'll move to our next level. Okay, so let's quickly level up our chili bean for a thousand coins. He's a pricey one, but the recharged ones from 20 to 19 and the special stun got up a little bit, so I'm guessing they're gonna be stunned for longer. That's pretty good. I'm trying not to hiccup, sorry. Um, but let's go ahead and move to the next level. I think it's gonna be level number 18. It's only a couple more left to go and ooh, looks like we're unlocking the good old tall nut for this one. That's pretty exciting. So yeah, let's get to it. Plan your defense and defeat zombies. Okay, also before we get started, I probably should go to the Zen Garden and put some more plants in there. We do have the jumper zombies, we do have um, chickens as well, so a bit of a problem to deal with. I'm thinking lightning reed and split peas, pretty average combo, but it will work. Uh, let's do this. Oh cool, okay, so we get a spike rock or spike weed and we get melon pole, my favorite. Okay, that'll be very fun to use at some point or another. Okay, let's back out of here, get back to it, and see what we can end up doing next. So definitely, I think we can get away with just a sunflower. I mean, actually, no, we should probably just do twin potato mine. If it works, oh, wow, okay, never mind. This is a uh, last stand, so we don't have to do that at all. 1500 sun is not much to work with. Hmm. We'll do something like that, we'll see how it goes. I mean, what you know what I think it wants us to do is get the split piece set up on the mine carts. Which is certainly doable. I think beyond that, we'll get cabbage pults. I don't know how much of this we'll really be able to do. I'm just sort of getting things set up just in case. We'll try it. We'll see how it goes. Prepare your defenses. So, let's do that. And that already gets us down to 375. So we could do, well, five of these would be 250. And that's about it. Like, that, we would be at 125 at that point. So maybe I could get an extra of something or save it so I can have like five potato mines. Might be what I wanna do. Uh, or I could save it so that I can do one cabbage pole and have that as like an ability. I can do something like that. We'll try this. We'll just have to set it up and see how it goes. That's a lot of zombies to start things off though. I can tell you that much. I'm tempted to just make it another lightning read. Really tempted. I think we'll just do it. We'll just go for it. We'll see what ends up happening. I'll try to beat up the jumper zombies before they jump, but of course there's a low likelihood of that actually working out that way. But definitely the chickens aren't too big of a deal. We're able to handle those guys, no problem. Nobody's jumped just yet, and that's good. Very loud, <laughs> very, very loud. Hmm. Doesn't really matter too much where the front of the split peas are facing, because of the fact that they are just like not gonna contribute too much damage. But here we go, so I'm gonna get rid of this guy, no problem, just be able to hit him with the split pea right away. Got it, okay. Get that coin over that way. And so far, like not even too much stuff has hit the walnuts. It looks like the chickens do attack things and eat them very quickly, which can be a bit of a concern. We already have a lot of plant food going on here. Okay, that's a bit of a problem though. I never really thought about that, but that split pea doesn't really do much uh, with the angling that he has to be at. Okay, so let's go ahead and maybe do something like this. Yeah, get that going. Uh, I didn't do anything about this guy. I thought he was taken out for some reason when he's not. 
There we go. Um, get this guy here, and then get this dude here. There we go. It's something. These guys are moving faster than I anticipated. Oh boy, this is a bit of a problem. <laughs> there we go, there we go. We're making it work though. Definitely making it work. Man, it is so loud. Okay, you know what, let's do another one of these because our one us are getting worked through right now. And that's not good. Okay, that definitely helped. Walnuts are taking a beating. Okay. Uh. You know, let's just keep that where it is. This is the last round of them, so I might as well actually just get both of these going on. I mean, we do have lawnmowers to our disposal if we need them, but with those two thunderclouds going on, I think we'll be able to survive this. Looks like it, okay. Very cool, got done on our first try. We've gotten most levels done on our first try. I don't remember being able to do that when I played PVC two years ago, so I'm, I've been pretty proud of us. But we get the ton up for 125 sun. This guy is awesome. He was great in PVZ one. I'm sure he'll be fantastic here in PVZ two. Let's go ahead and take a look. It's a ton of heavy duty wall that blocks low flying zombies. So that would be great against the uh, bull imp and maybe the high jumping zombie. Well, I just said he's a high jumping zombie. He might be high jumping. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure he is though. We'll have to wait and see, but definitely the, the bull imp. We don't have to worry about him as much. And we get two experience for our melon pole. That'll get us a four out of 10. Very cool. And we get two for our, our uh, tall nut, making it six out of 10. Okay. That's pretty nice. Looks like we're good to move forward. All right, so level 19, the second and last level of the day. Level objectives, don't lose any more than two plants, but spend no more than 2,000 sun. So many restrictions on this one. Spend no more than 2,000 sun. I definitely think we need to keep things cheaper with the uh, sunflower. Ooh. Definitely anything with spread damage. So I'm thinking, definitely no potato mines, like maybe walnuts just to be careful but I'm thinking mostly we wanna do stuff like Lightning Reed and Snapdragon for that spread. And then maybe a Cabbage Bowl just in case we need that special move. Beyond that, probably not. Hmm. Actually, let's also keep in mind the, the Peapod strategy. I think it would work out pretty well. So, Let's get started with that and see how things go. Hopefully good. There we go. So we don't have any potato mines, so we definitely need to sort of rush into it. We've sort of experienced that in the past with other sun limits. I wish we could remove, you know, there we go. This, this, the sunflowers and get our sun limit back, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't work that way, unfortunately, which is just sort of real lame. I think we need a whole row of sunflowers, but it, it's hard to say. For right now, I'll leave it at this and see how much we can afford it, but chances are low, unless we just don't get many zombies in the beginning. But that's where stuff like iceberg lettuce and stuff can be very helpful, but also probably not gonna be a good idea if we only have two we could use before we're failed, you know? So I don't like that very much. But we are earning up a suffice amount of sun. It should be okay. So this is where I wanna start working into lightning reeds a little bit. Yeah, like this. And try to get at least three lightning reeds out here. But then we'll be pr running pretty low on sun at that point. So we'll have to see how much farther I can really get. But this is why I'm getting gladder and gladder we haven't spent any more sun than what we already did. Come on, that's 75. Get to 125, let's work on this guy a little bit more. Definitely can't do walnuts. I just gotta keep with what we got and make sure it just does some effective damage. So we're at 975 left. I'm thinking we should go ahead and get that fifth one just to sort of have it. Oh no, okay, so we do actually have jumper zombies. Somehow I didn't even expect that. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy here. Maybe I shouldn't have, maybe I should have put him on the top, the second to the top and the second to the bottom. So yeah, that might have been a big fat mistake. We may regret that. Um, yeah, don't do that, please. 
Okay, so this is where things become a big problem then, if there's gonna be more jumper zombies. I might have to redo this just because of that. For right now, let's do more lightning, because I didn't really even take a look at what zombies are going to be dealing, we're gonna be dealing with here. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, we need to do more than what we're doing. Let's do more thunder. And I haven't made my next split pee. Let's do that. Jeez Louise, there go my sunflowers. Oh boy, this is a problem. This is a big problem. So there goes one of our sons that we've now missed out on. Can you guys get rid of both of those dudes or no? You're just gonna get rid of the one but not the other? Thanks. So I can't lose any more flower or plants or anything. Jeez, I messed this up. So I'm, chances are not gonna win this. Uh, but I'll try my best, because we're almost at the end anyways. So I need to get rid of this guy over there. I don't know if that's gonna work out or not. I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. Might seem silly, because it is. <laughs> um, come on, don't let him jump, gosh darn it, I need to zap him. I can't believe I'm using my power-ups here. That's how bad I am. That, 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 that power blast is like next to no time. That stunk. Anyways, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this and then I can plant one more of these guys and do this. There we go, that wasn't too bad. Let's do another one if I gotta. Uh, maybe that was, oh wait, move this here, move this here. Got it, and we're good. <laughs> Hold on, is there another one? There's not. Okay, we just barely survived then. Definitely could have had a smarter strategy there. Just had to take my time a bit more. I didn't do that, unfortunately. But hey, we got it done. And that means that we can move on to the final level of today's episode, Wild West Day 20. Whenever this is done, tell me about all of our different things we got here. So yeah, let's keep moving. Okay, day 20. Plant the pea shooter to begin. It looks like we got more of this, but every single thing is a minecart now. Interesting. So we'll see how this goes. Definitely an interesting level. I don't even know how we wanna do this, but for right now we're just gonna keep moving. So next thing, we got a wanna. I'm gonna put that like second to the right, not the, the far to the straight thing. Even though I could do that, I don't know if it's all that good of an idea. So for right now, I'm gonna get rid of one zombie. And you know, I don't really think we even need him right now. If we just switch this over. If we're quick about it, we're fine. So I'm glad to have that. Yeah, he's gonna go down without too much of a fight. So what is next? We got ourselves a potato mine. That is surely interesting. We're obviously going to put that here to deal with that dude. And I think we'll, we'll, we'll slow down that dude a little bit so we can get rid of these two zombies on the bottom. And so there's no way a pea shooter can get rid of a bucket head. That was just sort of by design, I guess. Okay, right about now, we should be able to switch this over and your head will pop off, which means you're done for. And we can just work on this guy. And that should be everything we need. Spadow, very cool. So what is next? We got ourselves one of the chili beans. Obviously, supposed to put that here so it farts on the one guy. And if it's just that I have to worry about, we should be fine, actually. Looks like it. Do a little bit of that. There we go. No, wait, did that work? That worked, but not really the way it was supposed to. Why did the one eat it before the other? That might actually ruin us. That makes no sense. Why? It, the the cone had got there first. He should have eaten it. Seriously? There's no way we can survive this, right? Next to no chance. I mean, there's only one way I can survive it, and it's to do what we're doing right now and hope it works out. Okay, he might be able to survive. Come on, come on there, little pea shooter. You got it, I'm so proud of you. You're the little pea shooter or could. Now we got a repeater, and that's definitely gonna make things a little bit interesting. There we go. Let's get that going on. I'm gonna slow down one, but beat up the other. Let's sorta of see how that works out. Okay, this guy needs one more hit. Or maybe two. Okay. Actually, come on. There it is. Okay, let's move this guy so that we can be quick about this. Make sure the one doesn't take too much damage, you know? And the triple shot should definitely get this guy down really quick. There it is, not a problem though. Okay, so we do get another potato mine. Obviously I'm just gonna keep that in reserve for the, the uh, bucket head. 
I'm gonna sort of work towards other things for now. I mean, we could try to do this like triple shot wise and just like rush these guys down that way. Like it might be worth our while. We're trying it now. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. I mean, I don't wanna make any major mistakes because then I'll have to do the whole level over, but that certainly worked. And I could beat this guy up, but there's no way we'd be able to beat him up in time, so just let the potato mon do its thing. And now we have another walnut. I'm thinking we wanna make this walnut a bit closer. That way we can sort of hold more than one guy. Maybe something like that. Wouldn't be too bad. I mean, I say that, but it might be smarter just to work on this guy as, as long as we possibly can. Maybe get this pea shooter to finish up some of the other dudes. Oh, and he ate through it. That might be a problem though. So let's triple shot this guy. Okay, come on, and got him. Let's work on these two. Okay, and that should get rid of him. Luckily it does, a little bit risky though. We got a coconut cannon, oh boy. I, I, I probably should've taken a better look at what's coming our way. So I only get one shot at this guy. Ah, oh, I thought that would still just like guarantee a takedown there a bit more, but we do get a restore with him, so like that's good to keep in mind. Probably gonna get him over here then, and just tap like crazy. Got it, awesome. This guy's going down, and then his friends too. Come on, hold on tight, Walnut, thank you. Oh boy. All right, let's do something like that. I'm gonna launch this here, boom, get rid of that guy, and also beat up his, you know, neighbors, his zombie neighbors. There we go. And then we should just be able to do this. Yeah, I don't even want to spend that chili bean if I don't have to. Okay, our final wave here, and this is where things get really risky, but I know what to do with this, at the least, is to immediately get rid of Chicken Dude. We need to immediately get rid of him before he makes any chickens, and he made chickens, so we might be done for here. Luckily, we're not. Some way, somehow, we made it work. Definitely want to work on the bucket heads with this. There's more zombies down here than, no wait, they're, they're, there's the same amount, actually. What happened there? Okay, not really what I wanted, but it's fine. There we go, okay, just this guy to work on. We're gonna hit him with the cannon. Boom, very good, so we survived it. It was tough. <laughs> I'm just moving that walnut around, making him a little dizzy. Okay, that was super cool. What is this, is this an extra plant food slot, or what? Instant recharge, instantly refresh a seed packet by dragging and dropping plant food on it. Interesting, so if we need two, I don't know, coconut cannons right away, I place on a coconut cannon, place the plant food on the coconut cannon slot, and then place another coconut cannon. That is very interesting for sure. So there were 10 more levels in the Wild West. Next episode, we'll be doing the final five before we take on Zomboss yet again. That's gonna be pretty cool. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plans for Zombies 2. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Melon. So you watched at the end of the URA, Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing and doing the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.